It's Friday. You know what that means. It's time to take the plug out of the jug for the latest installment of I'll Drink to That with the OAO, one and only PJ Rykoff, the host of the Independent Americans podcast. It's good to see you, brother. I have the only thing that I drink when I am drinking. I don't always drink, but when I do, I drink Casa Dragonis because <laughs> it's owned by friends of mine. Um, so, uh, you and I have a joint purpose uh, off the bat here about who we want to toast. David Crosby and a man who was widely regarded as the best guitarist ever, uh, Jeff Beck, both died uh, this week. Very sad. David Crosby just died back uh, at the beginning of the week. Uh, big deal. What did they mean to you? And then I want to play some sound of Crosby. Well, first off, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you and, and to America. Big weekend coming up. I hope everybody can enjoy the NFL playoffs. Cuomo, you're still supposed to take the tie off here. You've got to relax a little bit, man. I know you're working hard. David Crosby, a legend. I mean, the second co concert ever with Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young was Woodstock. I mean, this is an iconic, legendary, musical, uh, you know, guy who, who everybody knows, and, and we lost this week. And Jeff Beck, I mean, the Yardbirds, the guitarist, guitarist, like one of the greatest guitar players of all time, a, a true legend. And no matter where you live, no matter what your political background, I think we can all raise a glass to both David Crosby and to Jeff Beck. Thank you for the amazing music, and thank you for the memories. I'll drink and Listen to, that. to David Crosby talk about what he wanted our music to be about today. Take a listen. It's such a time of fundamental tension. If there were songs about today, what would be the themes that need to be hit on and the ideas that you would want to resonate? The ideal of America. America is an idea. It's not really a, 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 a patch of turf. It's an idea. And, and if there was a thing that we could celebrate that would help pull us together, it's the ideals that we founded this country on. I was blown away when I met him by his journey, Peach. You know, he's been through so much, and he was about so much. Uh, Dusty, give a call to the two brothers. What do you got? Hello, my brothers. Um, we have Earl Hello, from Dusty. Dallas. Hello, huh? Dusty. I drink. Toast um, Dusty. Have... She Earl. only drinks cuckoo juice. <laughs> Earl, from, Go ahead. Uh, Earl from Dallas, <laughs> Texas. How you doing, Earl, Chris? what do you got? Happy Friday. Hey, man, I'm glad to see you again. What's up, Earl? You do, you're doing your platform again. Yes, sir. and I like to see you on your platform again. Uh, how you how you doing? Uh, never better. How you doing? What's on your mind? Uh, oh well, it's it's about Alec, about you know about Alec Baldwin uh, with the with the gun situation, with how the the gun was on the set, and then you think about it, he's not a prop handler. How did the bullet get a live bullet get into that gun, and then they turn around? It seems like. It's a setup and throwing him under the bus. Uh, that's definitely going to be his defense theory. Um, there should never be live ammo on a set. Um, you know, we can have the whole conversation about why any Hollywood production is still using a real weapon when they have all the CGI stuff. Look, this is a little low budget. Um, but uh, his defense is going to be there are a lot of people who are responsible for this. He's the last person who should be there, uh, not the first person. Peach, what's your take? Well, the armor is, is the one I think who's most responsible here. I mean, I was an infantry soldier. I was a military police soldier. I've worked on movie sets before. That, that, that gun's got to be clear. There shouldn't be any live ammo, and that armor has a responsibility to clear the weapon. Maybe there's a giant teaching moment for the whole world here, which is any time you're handed a weapon, make sure it's clear. Everybody should do that, whether you're in law enforcement, working on a set, or you just have a gun around or in your family. Clear the weapon. Make sure the weapon is clear. Don't assume someone else is going to clear it for you. That's very basic uh, weapon safety. I think everybody can learn a lesson from. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.